What up everybody, this is Straight Trash Bitch, you already know what it is. So before I get in this video, I'd like to thank everybody, all the new subscribers, all the peeps out there, you know what I'm saying? Thank you for subscribing, thank you for liking, and thank you for throwing the comments in the comment section, you already know what's up. So also, I'd like to give a shout out to Nathan Prescott, thank you, uh, he, you, he is one of my subscribers, I appreciate it, for, thank you for watching, thank you for liking my videos. And uh, he's the one that gave me the idea of making a video on disrespect and confrontation and how to deal with it. And, uh, you know what I mean? I want to thank you for the idea. And, yeah, I'm about to get in the video, yo. Sorry, I smoke a little bit. So, you know what I mean? I'm a little in and out of it. So, give me a break. But, anyway, shout out, homie. Thank you for the idea. And, uh, yeah, how to deal with disrespect and confrontation. So, we're going to start with how to deal with disrespect. Being disrespected. No one fucking likes it. I fucking hate being disrespected. Hate it. And I hate it because I show mutual respect to everyone. I mean, that's where respect starts. You should have mutual respect for everybody in the world, no matter who they are. As a human being, seeing other human beings, I have respect as a human to another human. I'm not saying as a friend, as a family member. I'm not saying that type of respect. That respect is earned. That that label, that's a label. Those labels are uh, special, you know what I'm saying? And uh, like I said, I got respect for everybody. So when I'm disrespected and I show mutual respect for everyone, it kind of shocks me a little bit sometimes, you know? But uh, what to do with it when you are disrespected, it depends. Like, here's an... I'll do uh, three examples. If a friend were to disrespect me, what would I do? I'd probably pull my friend aside and be like, yo, homie, I really want to talk to you, bro. They're your homie. They should always be, be down to have a combo. What up? Hey, bro, I want to let you know uh, earlier, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I really kind of felt disrespected by you, bro. I felt like you didn't have no respect for me at that moment or what you said was disrespectful towards me and to me and uh you know i just want to clear it up like what's up bro like is there a problem between you and i fucking i'm rocking with you bro you know what i'm saying you're my homie i fucked with you and then flat out you should get your answer bro that that that's one way to deal with disrespect when it comes to a friend you know what i'm saying um and then a family member say a family member disrespects you you know what i'm saying and you're just like piss like dis they disrespect you so bad you're like fuck they're my fucking blood i can't believe they fucking disrespect me like that but i'll tell you what man you sometimes what you have to do when you're disrespected by family because they're your blood you have respect for them still you're a good person yourself you got to understand that and you're like I'm not a fucked up person, but I don't want to stoop to no one else's level, which you won't have to. You stay who you are and be proud of who you are. But what you do when family disrespects you, you learn to accept them as a human being. So if I remember disrespect me, bad. I ain't fucking with it. So... I used to fuck with my family member heavy or something, you know, that's my family, like, close, you know, you got close cousins, you got your brothers, your sister, all that, you know what I mean, uh, but I'm saying, when it comes down to it, you accept them as a human being, they no longer deserve the label as family, so when they come around or anything, of course you say your hellos, you say your goodbyes, and you say your God bless yous. Uh, whatever, whatever people do, yo, you know what I'm saying, don't think I'm all super religious, everybody, you know, everybody has their own opinions, this and that, but, you know what I'm saying, don't, <clears throat> why anyone feel offended that I said that, but, uh, like I said, accept them as a human being, say your hellos and your goodbyes, and just don't separate yourself from them emotionally, you know what I mean, like, I have family and Everyone has family they haven't talked to in fucking years. And then everybody has a family they're close to. And then when family get into it, it's bridges burnt. But, you know, bridges can be burnt. And then that, bridges can be burnt, but they can be rebuilt. But they'll never be the same, right? So, it'll never be the same. They understand that. And they should know how they disrespected you. And to be honest with you, I'd probably pull them aside and be like, yo, that's really fucked up. You said that shit to me or you said that about me and did, did me bogus, yo. Like, it's really fucked up. I just want to let you know that I thought he was fucked up, and you don't have to apologize, but just don't think things are going to be the same, because they're not, it's not cool, 
boom, you might get an apology. They might realize what they did. And if not, it's okay. People are hard-headed. You have to move forward. With being disrespected, I understand it's a big thing. You can only handle so much of it, but you need to move forward to be happy in any type of situation. You know what I mean? And that's family. And it's hard when you're disrespected by family because that's supposed to be your bloodline and uh, everything you got and they got your back and you got their back. And sometimes don't go, go that easy. But don't be hard-headed. You have to move forward. And that's it, you know, even being disrespected by a friend after you speak to them or something. And if y'all get over it, you get over it. And if there's beef, you got to settle it. You got to fucking find a way to settle it. Ask them, like, so how are we going to deal with this? All right. I That's just don't think we're going to fuck, fuck with each other that heavy, bro. All right. Cool. Leave it at that. Don't even got to bang it out. But with family, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. And, and it hurts bad, but like I said, you can't be hard-headed. You have to move forward if you want to be happy. You got to let it go. Just tomorrow's coming, and he's not disrespecting you tomorrow, so fuck it. Let it go. You got more days to live. But you're going to lose a lot of people in your life, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people are going to disrespect you. You're going to learn a lot of people aren't as loyal as they say they are, and you're just, you know, be be ready. It's life. Betrayal, you know what I'm saying? But back, back to the main topic, you know what I mean? Uh that that's how i deal with it if i was disrespected by a family member i just separate myself emotionally accept them as a human being and move forward and be happy and they'll live with their mistake and if they call and they need help one day it's literally up it, you know it's up it's up to you to say yeah or no me i'd say yeah and i'd come around and help and you know what what's gonna go through their head the whole time i'm helping can't believe i treated you that bad and you're still helping me because I'm not like you. I'm I'm another fucking breed. I'm thread from another cloth, bitch. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, that that's how I deal with it if I was disrespected by a family member. So say you're disrespected by a random person or like someone say say you're in school or like you're in a situation where you're around a bunch of people, right, every day. And he says she say or blah 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 or someone you don't even know wants to bang with you, like First of all, if it's over message and someone's beefing with you and they're disrespecting you and and y'all like fighting this shit, you know what I'm saying, arguing, um, I need you to stop right there. What they want, they want you to get mad. They want to rile you up. They want your messages talking shit. They want, they, the, what they crave is that your day goes bad and they have control over your emotion and you spent your time of your life fucking wasting it on feeling angry or whatever it is because of them fuck that fuck that you have an opportunity to just be real someone hit me up like yo fuck you this that be like you know what i'm saying like with a whole long message with paragraph just beefing whatever i i literally send a message be like yo not only do you not personally know me but i've never even seen you enough or something to even be disrespectful to you or have you disrespect me so you want to fight and risk what risk your fucking safety and your freedom because we not only if you get in a fight and it lasts long enough feds could show up and you go to jail you know what i mean two assault charges on both of you guys it's a lose lose you go to jail and you know they wanted the reaction they want to fight you they want you to call them all pissed they want to run in you run into you in public and fucking fist fight you know what i'm saying they want that because it's time of your life wasted on on their decision because a lot of people when things happen they they act compulsive compulsive acting based off emotion i'm angry so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna fucking fuck shit up because i'm mad or I'm sad, so what am I going to do? Take my life because I'm sad for fucking a month. Like, that's being compulsive. You know, those, some things are sensitive topics, but, you know, you don't act based on emotion because a lot of problems are just temporary depending on how you deal with them. You want them to be permanent? You want them to be last long? It depends how long you want to drag it out unless you move forward. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand that. And, uh, you know, you do not give them the reaction they want. Okay, because like I said, they're that's what they want. They're going to be happy because you're spending time in your life that you'll never get back just to beef with them. It ain't worth it. When someone like that disrespects you, if you have the opportunity to block their number and just leave it at that, send a message like, yo, whip out some truth on them. You know what I'm saying? On some real shit. They should read it and they'll be like, well, he didn't he or she didn't send me no message 
disrespecting me or talking shit. So what the fuck am I supposed to, you know, they're going to be stuck. Like, do I still talk shit in the middle of the message or what? Because you didn't say nothing bad. They have nothing to say to that. You know what I mean? But okay or no response and then block them. But if it were like in person, like motherfucker like coming up to you, wants to fight and shit. There's distance and hands are down. He's going to want to talk for a second. Everybody always talks for a second most of the time. They have a couple words to say whether it's talking shit or not. But that's when you could throw some uh, fucking knowledge in their head real quick. Like, yo, why do you really want to fight me? Tell me. And if they say, fuck you because you're a bitch. You're going to be like, how, how am I a bitch, bro? Like, tell me. You know, like, come on, bro. Like, give me three fucking good reasons how I'm whatever you think I am. And fucking, you know what I'm saying? Tell me. And if you give me three good reasons, fuck it. We'll bang out if they're good reasons. But if they're not good reasons and I re- and you don't even know me and I don't know you, then there's clearly no reason to even bang. You know what I'm saying? If you could fucking spit some shit like that before anything, you're not wire, wire riling that motherfucker up. What you're doing is simmering down the situation because you're spitting all this real shit and he's trying to be angry but he can't who can get angry at that when you're speaking the truth you know what i'm saying be like it ain't it ain't worth it it just it's not worth it man don't ever let when it comes to the disrespect and confrontation don't ever let no one else have control over your emotion that hard where you act based on how you feel you don't want that and some people i ain't got control you have control it's all up here you got to be mentally strong to even absorb the shit i'm even saying bro to take my fucking advice you got to be strong enough put your pride away and not be like oh fuck that disrespect me i'll fucking beat the ass or blah 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 like it's not about that it's about how you deal with it like bro like even in mob movies, like, motherfucker, disrespect of a, a fucking a mob boss, and then you think they hop out their chair and just start, oh, what's up, bitch, let's bang, let's bang, no, and they sit there, motherfucker may get escorted out, and it's dealt with, he, no, react, like I'm saying, don't give a reaction, and do more watching and listening than talking, because if you don't pay attention and listen, and say the right things, situation can do a whole fucking 360 you know what i'm saying because them they're thinking one way and one thing they're angry they're the one who started so you gotta be smart and then they come up to you hands up and they're throwing punches there's no there's no fighting that you're gonna have to deal with it you're gonna have to bang it out fuck man i've been sleeping uncomfortable lately bro but you know y'all like I was saying, you got to just be smart. If you got to bang it out, bang it out. Um, just, yeah, bro, you could fight fight without fighting, and that's uh, verbally. You know what I mean? Be smart. Think about what you say. Uh, think about every chain reaction there will be after everything that happens. Because you think, oh, I'm just going to fight, and that's it. What if the fight lasts long enough or you get knocked out or he gets knocked out, someone gets hurt? Or not only that, no one gets hurt, but the police come, you both go to jail, and then maybe, you never know, you know what I mean? You break your fucking phone while you're fighting, this and that. Like, bro, like, what do I got in my pockets that I don't want to be taken from me that might fall out? Or, like, anything, bro. Like, fighting is not even worth, it's not even worth, like, time. Someone got that big of a problem, they come throwing punches, fuck it, you know, but if you got some time to gain control of the situation, who who won? Who's smarter? You, bro. So, you know, that's how I would deal with disrespect and confrontation. In in confrontation, after it's all over and said and done, whether you fight or not, you gotta learn to move on. You know, a lot of people they get stuck, they don't wanna move on, but even if someone disrespects you and you have the chance to move on, that little chance you have to not reply or just move on, that's it. No matter what no one thinks or says, you're your own man, you're your own woman, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, just rock with the shits, yo. And just be smart, be head smart, um, take care of your fucking self and stand up for yourself and don't let no one walk all over you and disrespect you like that. Be sure to uh, attack the problem right at the source and it starts with talking to some talking to them to uh <clears throat> not fucking with them 
to then it get, they want to get physical and that's when you really that's when you really put your skills to the test and you fight without fighting you know simmer down the situation uh don't excite the situation and think about every scenario that can happen after what happens you know what i'm saying so i hope y'all enjoyed this video shout out to nathan prescott thank you for subscribing homie when you did thanks for watching my videos my g and everybody else thank you so love to everybody you know what i'm saying and uh yeah you already know it is a straight trash bitch like comment and subscribe and drop them motherfucking ideas and keep an eye out for the next video because that's going to be on how to control the urge to smoke. To not smoke. Wait, how to control the urge to smoke pack. Smoke your pack. And that's uh, another idea from Nathan Prescott. Thanks, homie. All right, everybody stay up straight trash, bitch. You already know what it is.